Hey Gemini, welcome to your soul path, Kundalini reading, okay? We're going to dive right into this bad boy. For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm your intuitive. Much of what you see here will not be traditional, okay? Um, for those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you. Remember to just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Even though we are going down the soul path, Okay, you could find that this resonates more as your person and not as yourself. Okay, also um, I am going to be doing an extended for this so that you can have a quick glimpse into your person's kundalini planes just to make it something that give you more information into your own reading. This is one of those readings as are also soul path readings where you can go back again and again and again and glean more and more and more about what's going on within yourself. Okay. So for the collective, okay, something may be passionately heating up okay that has been in separation here with the winter and the root chakra. Okay. And um, spirit is saying, don't go from extreme to extreme, <laughs> okay, which is very Gemini to do. Don't go from extreme to extreme, okay? Meditate, go inward, and try to seek a little bit of balance in that, all right? The intention here is that, yes, there is a cycle, okay, that's about to end in your life. There's something you need to be patient about, but you don't feel patient whatsoever. Um, we've got the rebel and rebirth, okay? So breaking the chains, rising up from the ashes, rising up in this passion, rising up like in this flame, okay? Um, rebirthing out of this, you know, massive lion when you've been in the desert, okay, with no emotion, but look, like she is zen as all get out, right? And so really you have to find, you really have to find the balance, okay? So if you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the Kundalini planes, all right, I did a video that is in the energetic conversations this last weekend, and you can go watch that and you will glean more about the 12 planes that triangulate into the 13th plane, which is the life container. Okay. So let's see what's going on Ooh, for Gemini. Interesting already, Gemini. Very interesting. I'm using as the base here that Wild Unknown archetype deck. Okay, but I'm reading it intuitively as I always do. Okay. And then I'm going to be clarifying with my... Um, my Love Alchemy deck that I created and my uh, Oracle of Times deck that I created along with the Field Tarot, okay? This has come up a lot, okay, in readings this week. The bottom of the deck is the animal, okay? The primal brain. Like, um, your higher self here is patiently watching, waiting, trying to guide you right? Through this process, through this path. Um, very interesting, right? Okay. So you could have a little anxiety, okay? Um, and it could be triggered by that um, higher self trying to be like, wake up, pay attention, okay? So that first plane here, okay, the pink chakra or the soul body, where the soul is connecting to the body and mind, okay, telling it, you know, messages and sharing love. 
there is that rebirth that is on the horizon here. Okay, it's the three, um, which is also, you know, the empress, the star. Okay, there's the, the star is being born. This wish is being granted for you on your journey here. And I love that it is all brand new. Okay, your consciousness in dreams, you're seeing yourself at the top of the mountain, like taking this hand, like I almost feel like it's a judgment here. Like you're taking this hand, right, to be pulled up onto the top of the mountain. And it's actually getting the support. I feel like, you see that eye right there? I feel like it's from your higher self. Um, it also could be um, having the faith to believe that those that are meant for you are being put on your path, put on your journey but you are taking this pilgrimage, okay? A lot of it probably is coming in in meditation, in shamanic journey, okay? In that space, right, where you are asleep. And so really make sure that you're writing down your dreams. <clears throat> the neuromind, okay, your instinctive, okay, intuitive space, you are realizing that there is something missing, okay? We've got the reflection here of the river and it's the horse alone. And the horse and rider to me is the symbol of that divine partnership. And there's something missing right now for you because um, the horse is alone, okay? And like looking in the river, looking in the emotion, trying to figure out either how do I cross or how do I, um, how do I figure out all of these emotions? Okay. Now the ego is very, very fearful, very, very entangled. Okay. Afraid to take any movement on your soul path. Okay. Your ego is keeping you at a dead end. Spirit is saying here that you're not going to get what you want if you don't start following what your soul is meant to be doing. Okay, and um, there's just, I really am getting the sense of anxiety here. Okay, where a lot of times we are excited about things and we automatically determine that it is fear. And so you really have to start, instead of just um, letting the old loop play out, you need to start working um, with breath work, working with rewiring like your thought patterns so that you know, right, this is not what happened to me before. So that you can go after these dreams. <clears throat> There's a song in my head. I think it is called Get It. Okay. But it is about, right, like having all of this, <clears throat> all this support, maybe even unseen support around you that is just like cheering for you and being like, like, I believe in you. You can go get this. Okay. Now, your body, we get apocalypsis. And so I almost feel today like this is saying that you're kind of pulled in every direction, like all the time. Um, here, there, everywhere. Like there's never really a moment of peace for you, even when you more are or um, end up in a situation that's supposed to be calm and relaxing. So it could be kind of like, right? You're like, oh, finally, like it's Christmas day. I don't have to work. And yet maybe you're the one that has to get up and make the coffee and make the meal. And you know, you were the one that was up until midnight putting out presents or whatever um, to surprise the kids. You know, you, have done everything. And so even when you 
have a moment to rest, you're not resting. And so your body, right, it naturally is kicking out the, um, through the loop, it's kicking out these transmitters that are going to make you anxious and feel like shit, okay? Now, your third eye, okay, the connection to the astral plane, though, is opening and connecting and starting to get it, okay, the bridge. You are starting to see, that's why we've got this rebirth, I feel, okay, you're starting to see through the veil. You're starting to see these little bits of connection. And your aura, your EMF shield, right, all of a sudden you realize that like right here in your aura is this very serious um, soul contract. It could, like the wax seal on this, okay, could be almost like you um, married into a very like prestigious family or you um, took a job at a very like high-end firm. Um, but at the tip of your fingers, okay, and I love this, okay, at the tip of your fingers here, we've got where you are trying to use your logic to create your own kingdom, your own, your own empire separate from your soul contract. And um, I feel like your fear is saying, no, let me point you in another direction. But in a way, you've always been independent. You've always been a bit of a loner. And you've never really stepped into that leadership role. And I feel like that's kind of what you're realizing, right? There's this, this realization that all of these layers are coming in and you're realizing at the heart of it is you and your growth. Your pranic body, okay, your breath, again, it's like a pretzel. It's tied up and you don't know why. When Even when you are trying to calm yourself, there seems to be this chaos that comes in. And um, you're really trying to figure out that riddle, okay? You're really trying to figure out why. I almost feel like that is a very important, like they're showing me a very important um, significance here. Hold on one second. One second. Oh my, oh my. Okay. They want me to look up the meaning of the Celtic knot for you. Okay. All right, so. Yes, there are eight, there's like, there are eight types of Celtic knots. Okay. Um, it symbolizes how life and eternity are interconnected, right? Again, I feel like this is all about your, this really is a lot about your soul purpose. Okay. The rider, the horse without the rider. Okay. The interconnected energies around you. Um, There's this pattern um, I don't know if one of these no, it's not the Celtic spiral. It's not that one. It's not that one. I mean this almost to me feels like um because I don't even see one that they're showing. 
that looks like it, but it seems to me almost like um, mind, body, spirit, sort of an energy. Um, and understanding that the universe, okay, the, the um, universal energy and your being are all kind of working together. And you may be being triggered, right? Because when you're going against your soul purpose and you're getting messages, it's kind of wigging out your system. Okay, so the subtle body, your reality that you are creating is really about grounding into Pachamama. Okay, pulling into the magma, into the fire, into the purpose of Mother Earth. Okay, because you're at the threshold of creation. And in order to have creation, you need fire. Okay, so you are at this threshold, very grounded, okay, um, in your reality right now. Which may even feel kind of strange to you. But... I do see that you are, like, you've got a plan, right? <laughs> like, you are figuring out this plan. And the radiant body, which is the light and sound frequencies, is the mirror, okay? So some of you may be deceptive about the way that the relationships that have been coming into your life, the opportunities that have been coming into your life, are reflecting back frequencies and sound vibrations to you that you needed to sense or hear or touch in order to make all of this change. Okay, the mirroring here has been very, very important to you and you may be discounting that. The lower realm here, which is Pachamama, spirit animal guides, Okay, your ancestors, your DNA, we've got the lovers. So again, okay, this is what you've wished for, that you're holding on very tightly um, as you're transforming this golden egg that you are not about to let go of. But I also feel like um, spirit is like, but it's cracking open right? Already. And you're like, no, <laughs> I'm not ready. No, like you're just holding so tightly to not allow this rebirth. The upper realm here, okay, the upper world, you're, again, I feel like you're opening up that third eye, that crown chakra. You're opening up to a very intuitive nature and that your higher self, your angels, your soul contracts, your Akashic records, all that information is starting to connect with you, okay? And so do make sure that you are spending time, all right? The prayer, make sure you're spending time in sacred quietness, okay? Where you are going on a shamanic journey or meditating or breathing, and just trying to let that energy flow. Now, what this is creating here, all right, in your life container, all of this, is a beautiful energy here of the shapeshifter where you are working through, I feel like, lifetimes upon lifetimes. If you don't believe in that, that's okay. It could be you know, years upon years of shadow work. And you're creating your portal into this shifting space. And the shapeshifter, okay, is someone who can, very much like the fool, very much like the jester, okay, ax the fool, blah, 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 People forget that they're sitting there and then they open up and the fool hears everything. The fool knows about everything in the kingdom. Okay. You can blend into the background very easily. But I feel like part of this purpose 
Okay, because we've got all these auric colors and on the other side of this is where the throat chakra comes in. It's not in your current reality. I think that the big part of this shift is that you come to this other side, right? And you become that leader, okay? You become that truth teller. You become the storyteller. You become the one that is openly verbal, okay, and guiding others. So let's go ahead and take a look a little bit deeper at all of this. Tell me about the starborn here, okay? Yeah. You are ready to cooperate with the give and receive of energy. I'm ready to share my energetic being with the story I've created. You're ready for this to open up. Okay, whatever it is that you are meant for in this life, you are ready for it, but in part you've been trying to control it. Okay. Yeah, okay. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. I do feel like the way it came out, that what it's telling me is that you've been turning your back on this just because perhaps... Um, where you're at now or the work you're doing now, it's comfortable, okay? And you feel like you're very dedicated to this process that you've created, but you are disregarding the truth of what you've created. Okay, we're not going there yet, Spirit. All right, so tell me about this truth, this pilgrimage, this climbing to the top of the mountain, okay? Yeah, okay. You don't know what to say. This is throat chakra energy. So you're hiding what you feel. And so when you get to the top of this mountain, um, there's a choice to make, right? Do I say what I feel or do I... Um, Keep wearing this mask and living this deception here. Yeah, okay. It comes down to power, king of pentacles. You're holding on to a wholly, entirely different world, right? But it requires you to step into this leadership. It requires you to step into this truth but you're not going there. For some of you, it could be because of the baggage that you've been carrying, all right, that could be coming out, um, that you're working out in your sleep, perhaps, with the river. Yeah, okay. Um, you're overly experiencing passion or lust in a charged situation. I have an agenda in regards to the way I feel about you. Okay, again, the lovers, there is something you are passionate about. And until you go into that passion, you're not going to stand up, right? Queen of Wands, there's a vibrancy here that um, you hold it in the darkness, right? You connect with the universe and you see all of this power and truth, but then you wake and you, you feel like the true power is in what you've already created. And you're not really willing to gamble on that. Okay, that's the ego here, the dead end, where you know in truth, you're never gonna follow your soul path if you stay in the path that you are on, okay? That is your control. You're trying to control the current situation to protect yourself. I'm not allowing the expansive emotions that you make me feel, okay? And this could be your what your higher self makes you feel about your soul purpose. It doesn't have to be love. For some of you, it could very much be love. Um, you're, you're trying not to be curious about this, right? This... Um, Princess of Swords in the reverse. Again, um, you're trying to close down whatever you've been curious about, but 
right? The light keeps shining on you regardless. Even in the dark, the moon reflects the sun at you. So whatever your soul purpose is leading you to, it doesn't matter if you try to hide in the darkness. The Other than that, a few moments of that void, of course, right? You are always in that reflective energy of what is meant for you, shining down on you. And this is your angels guiding you, okay? You're not alone. Blessings await you as you move forward. But some of you, right, have been told your whole life that um, that's not the type of person you are to go off and create things. And so you have faded into the background, okay? You have suppressed your energy. Okay, so your body is not resting even when you should be resting. There's chaos. Okay, yep, clockwork. Like you have things going around the clock. Um, but you're able to create a new cycle if you let yourself. Okay, you're ready to move forward. Um, I know that the cycle will turn no matter what action I take forward or backwards. So there's tomorrow. Okay, there's always going to be until you end, you know, you come to the end of your life path here, which hopefully for all of us will be like a hundred or something like that. Um, there's always tomorrow. Things that you don't accomplish today that seem like they are so urgent that have to get done for the job, right? Um, the laundry, the dishes, they can wait until tomorrow. Okay. And if you're being told that they can't and you're being pulled in all these different directions, that's when you need to really look at, am I repeating trauma responses? Okay. Yeah. That's when you need to really reflect judgment, right? At your paths and start making a plan for what do I want to go forward to? What do I want in my life? Right? Because you will end up isolated. If you, you know, alone all the time, doing, 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 instead of enjoying life. Tell me about the bridge, right? Your third eye, you're having trouble believing, okay? Your energetic connections. Lizard brain and silence, right? I feel like um, when you get very silent, you feel these connections, of higher self, bridging the gap, right? Going into the gap, as Wayne Dyer always called it. Um, but you're restricting your throat chakra due to an uncertainty. I'm not telling others how they impact my world due to unknowns or reactions. And that can be, you know, I love you or uh, get out of my face, right? Lizard brain, you have obsessive thoughts tied to controlling emotional behaviors. I am reacting to intense emotions of fear and or rage. Okay. And I feel again, like you're on the astral plane. It's very different and you're seeing a truth. Yeah. Okay. Competition, five of wands. Okay. You're learning these lessons and control is at the very top. And it's blocking your heart, your creativity, your passions, your voice. Okay? And that's what spirit's trying to engage you in. You want to come into leadership. Your aura feels it. But you're shielding yourself against it, right? Because of a soul contract. Because what if the unknown, everything that is magical has an unknown factor in it? Okay, you require an unknown in every alchemical process as we only see the hints, right? As we're working into things. I feel what I am seeing, but there is a great mystery of what it truly is. And so again, that fear, that lizard brain is kind of pulling into this energy where you know, and yet you're refusing, right? King of cups in reverse. Um, 
I almost feel that for you, love has always felt out of your control. Okay, I don't know if this will resonate for all of you, but the energy that I'm getting is that um, you couldn't just run up to mommy or daddy and be like, I need, I need hugs right now, <laughs> right? And just get them all the time. Um, you learned that other people are in control of your emotions. And what's coming to you in this leadership is that no, you know, screw that. These are my emotions and I'm allowed to have the emotions that I have, right? And this is that rebirth coming through again, right? New growth is emerging and it's emerging in the spring. It's blossoming in love, okay? Again, don't skip this spring step and go right to, to summer, okay? Because you're going here, right? From winter to root chakra and spirit's like, no, be patient. New growth is emerging, okay? Don't skip the spring. The spring is the most beautiful time, right? Even if some of those trees only bloom for like two weeks, the beauty that it brings in is something special. So don't skip that part of the process, okay? You might find a possibility that you did not know existed in that. Okay, the riddle here, the, the uh, Celtic cross, all right, the um, chaos has to do with cycles, okay, resurgence. You've been given a second chance after a time of separation. So it's been a while since this cycle has come up in your life, okay. I have a renewed interest in repairing the past situation, opening up to try my options, right? Um, you are realizing that things in your life could be different, okay? That you can end old cycles, that you can um, change things. The, I love this, the moon in reverse and the tower in reverse. You don't want to go through this again where I feel like this has been the repeating cycle, right? I don't allow anyone to sense what I'm thinking or my emotions, my true intentions here, okay? I get my not talking all up in my head, okay? Instead of speaking, all my thoughts go to my head. And then I end up getting burned. I end up in this chaos, this tower moment. Okay, but it's all in reverse. You're like, no, I don't want to be deceptive anymore. I don't want any more towers. I just want to breathe through it, say what I need to say, and move myself forward. Okay. And it could be bottom of the deck to this divine love. Like you're on the threshold here of something that you've created here in your, in your reality. Okay. And it's possibility. You're always open to new choices and new choices are always available to you. I'm open to choose and follow my knowing by asking questions around my path, right? And that's what you're kind of doing right here. Okay, you're clearing out old energies. You are grounding yourself and you're taking a minute to kind of question your status quo, right? What other possibilities are there? Three of Cups. Okay, it could be that there is a friendship that's going to guide you through this. Um, but I do feel like the fates are like, finally, you're looking in that cup. Finally, you're considering your emotions and not everybody else's emotions. Okay, because again, you are probably very sensitive here, empath. And so the mirroring is that you are getting all of this reflective sound and light energy, right? But it's teaching you lessons, right? But you have to realize, are you projecting back rather than 
clearing things out because your energy of projection is alchemy, right? It's the unknown. It's part of the unknown and can be used to manifest and transmute. I can project my energy from love or from ego, right? Depending on my impulse control. Yeah. Okay. I am only hurt if I keep repeating the cycles of being hurt. Okay. Three of swords in reverse. Like, where has sorrow been self-sabotage? Okay. I feel like that's very important to ask yourself. Yeah. Okay. Here you are. It's all about the magic of the sound frequencies. Okay. Mercury, magic, fast moving. As soon as you start speaking your truth, as soon as you start taking that leadership role and vocalizing what you need to vocalize, things move fast. Everything starts coming in and changing your world. Okay. The lovers. Ooh. Yeah, again, three of cups, celebration. And this is a quest. This is a new journey. Some of you have not met this person yet that you know of. Okay, but it is something that's about to crack open, even if you have. You know the universe is always dancing with you or creating joy with ease. I find the celebrations in my life bring the rains that clear the air, right? I just posted about rain, okay, yesterday on Instagram. Um, quest. You have started on a difficult search for something of meaning. I am on the journey to something I can feel is very important but yet out of reach. And I feel like you really do need to go on that shamanic journey and listen to the drumming track and, you know, ask, like, what is this magic golden egg that I am protecting so divinely? Okay. Yeah. Some of you don't want to ask, okay? Four of Wands in reverse. You could be afraid of walking away from... Okay, because in this deck, this is celebrations, walking away from what you thought was happiness. Okay, um, perhaps you're afraid of being rejected by this divine partner. And so um, there's a fear about going forward. But you are tapping into that intuition, that prayer, those angels. Okay, and you can contrast right? Look at that contrast. What does my ego think? What does my intuition tell me? Okay. Use the scope of differences with your situation. I can evaluate the notable differences as I look at the two. Okay. What is truth and what is the illusion that you are creating as your reality, right? Determination, Prince of Swords here, okay? Get to the truth of it. That's what you are seeking here, is this new start for this, with this truth, this brand new truth, okay? okay. Yeah, again... Uh, Divine Masculine coming out here with Taurus. I feel like as soon as you get to the truth, right, which is that spring energy, that's why you can't miss out on the spring energy. Um, once you get to the truth, then there will be the knowledge of what offers to take in your life. You'll be able to see it from a high, on high, right? That's very much... Um, Knowing what's likely to happen, um, climbing up there and seeing what that root chakra will create, but being able to start in the spring, okay? Now, the shapeshifter here, I feel like you are shifting out of inner child into, right, your true power, integrating your inner child back into your being. And you get virtue. 
you are holding on to a perception of right or wrong in a situation, right? Because, you know, it all just comes down to the lessons and what you take from it. It's like all perception. I'm imposing a current judgment based on social morality. Okay, so whatever you're going to shift into, whatever you're going to speak up about is something very important because you're like, I'm ending a cycle, right? And look at that, the universe. And at the center of it is honoring your heart. Okay, you honor your heart and you end what, you know, the following what everyone else is telling you, you have to do or be, you can't have those emotions, you can't feel this way, and you're able to say no, right? Look at this, bottom of the deck, I'm done being suppressed, okay? Which is beautiful. So what does spirit want you to work? Oh, nope, they're like, wait a minute, we need one more card, so hold on here. Thank you. Okay. I love this. Something from before that you were meant to have, okay? A path you were meant to take. That's where that resurgence, I feel like, is coming up. As you start speaking your truth, it will come rushing in unexpectedly, okay? Don't put up that sword in defense out of fear. Give yourself a second to speak what you need to speak, okay? So what does spirit want you to work on here, okay? When was the last time I danced freely, okay? Were you told, sit down, be quiet, okay? Children are silent. Dance, because it will shift you into a beautiful state, because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart, because fear lives in the head, along with anxiety, control, guilt, frustration, and impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel the change of joy and confidence takes over and you will feel a soul reminder to live and lead from your heart, right? I said it's from the center of the heart. Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness and it is the gateway to freedom. To become free, dance. Dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice the inward fire grow within and feel and the feeling you feel being you. You are a wild, loving force. Express it with dance today. I love that. I honestly think that all relationships would be better if we would take a couple minutes every day to take a minute to dance in the kitchen together. Okay. So let's see what the universe wants to add to this. Okay. What else does the universe want to say? Okay, Queen of Swords in reverse. All right. I feel like it's saying it is time to stop cutting things out of your life because you're cutting out the transformation. Okay. Yeah, the emperor. Okay, honor yourself and um, honor your, that you don't need to have like this, you know, this uh, craziness. They wanted me to look up the ankh. Okay, that's what I thought it was that um, the emperor is holding here. It's the key to life. You have the key to your life, okay? It is the key of life. It is the Egyptian hieroglyphic symbol that was the most commonly used in writing and art to resent the word life. And by this, the symbol, right, by extension, is the symbol of life itself. It is a cross shape with a teardrop loop in place, right? So um, I almost feel like it's telling me, right? Like you have the key and if you just hold it, you end up with sadness, right? In the, in the middle here, we've got Queen of Cups and Death. 
K. This Queen of Cups is not very happy, right? She is alone. And it takes death, right? Death comes when she is very, very old, okay, and alone. But I feel like it's because she didn't listen to that key of life, okay? Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse, four of cups in reverse on the bottom. It's time to stop refusing what the universe is offering you, okay? Together, this is a 10. It is a completion of the cycle. But both of these cards are pretty much you are refusing, right, to take what the universe is giving you as your soul's truth. All right? So let's go ahead and close off with an oracle from the Spirit Animal Wisdom deck. Make sure you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It is how others will find this information. Okay, yeah, otter play, okay, initiation to be open through this transitional time, right? Um, get into those emotions. They're your emotions, all right? Play with them, dance with them. I love that. Where is the otter? I wish this went into order, but it doesn't. Okay about patience okay the um, element is water be open through the transitional time the otter is deeply connected to the water and is thought of as a symbol of life right the key to life everywhere you've got here is the key to life spring is life okay um Water is the feminine life-giving force, just as the otter is the symbol of creativity. Together, they represent fluidity and transition. The otter speaks to your inner child as she loves to play. If you feel stressed or drawn, ask the otter to bring their energy to you. Otters are highly vibrational and curious beings. They are also fearless and can be called on to, I do not have my glasses on. Okay, for extra courage when you most need it. The otter is associated with initiations and transitions and makes big change in life, new birth, new cycles of life and saying goodbye to our loved ones. Summer, the otter some oh, summer the otter oh that's interesting it says summon but in my but spirit showed me summer okay maybe you'll really need that play energy when you do pull out of spring from the life into this new passion okay summon the otter and let them guide you through it the crystal companions are unite flint I love that it's flint because the wand, unless you have two wands, requires the flint to spark the flame, to spark the fire. Okay, petrified wood, so you've got the flint and the wood, and self-healed self quartz. I love it. All right, so I'm going to move to the extended. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you guys have a beautiful week, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.